Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to Ingenuity. It's so good to have you here. Today is a very special day. Today we are starting the resurrection of our 300,000 mile 20 year old Explorer. And we're gonna start with those exhaust manifolds. Let's do it. Let's go! So this is our task at hand. <clears throat> um, we have to get these out of here. Um, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be easy, but this is this is what we're working with. Um, <clears throat> high probability, these aren't going to want to come out. We're probably going to have to uh, shock them with heat and water, potentially weld uh, nuts to the outsides of the studs, and try to walk them out of the heads. Um, it's going to be really hard to film this. I'm going to do my best uh, to get it on the camera for you. Um, this is really going to be primarily just grunt work and probably not very entertaining to watch anyway. So <clears throat> that's what we're looking at for this side. I'll show you the other side. And this is the driver's side. Um, this one's the distinction of being the biggest pain in the ass um, because this has the EGR tube built into it, which. I don't even know if you can see that. It's right there. Um, you can barely see it. Um, it's the uh, the the heat wrapped tube coming up, um, conveniently blocking the studs uh, for the the first cylinder there. Um, yeah, that guy is going to be a ton of fun. So. We've got our work cut out for us, not to mention the, the bolts holding the um, exhaust onto the uh, manifolds look to be in absolute horrendous shape as well. So, good times ahead. Good times ahead. So two hours later, um, they're out. This was the side that was leaking. Um, and the reason it was leaking was because there was a stud um, that was actually broken off in the head, but um, it's missing the, the nut. Um, so I don't know if it was attempted to be previously repaired and the nut snapped off and they said screw it and bail um, or what, but you can kind of tell from everything else has like a kind of a flat ceiling surface and this is, this looks like just like rough, rough cast iron um it's just been yeah there's been exhaust gas and uh there's also a slight oil leak back there but um yeah this is just like complete soot everything else is, is actually pretty clean um <clears throat> i haven't checked for cracks yet um that will be the next step um there's definitely a lot of areas of here where the the, the casting is just extremely fatigued so um i'm gonna try to clean them up as best i can um, without damaging them. If we damage them, we'll just replace them. Uh, nothing, nothing really to do there. Uh, EGR tube, uh, best way I found to deal with that situation. Um, luckily, the nut at the top where it attaches to the intake manifold, uh, well, to the valve, to the valve that sits right um, in front of the, the intake manifold. Um, undo this nut. And like I said, thankfully it was in good shape, uh, and it was able to use a pry bar to kind of bend the, the tube out of the way of the the one nut, um, which is this one. Um, on the driver's side though, um, it did, we did break four of the, of the studs, um, so that sucks. <laughs> um, got a lot of, got a lot of work, of course, on the side with less room, um, is what it is. But, um, the real MVP of tonight, um, was the Milwaukee Hacksaw, um, Hacksaw. Not hacksaw, hacksaw. Um, this guy. Uh, this thing's awesome. Um, tell you a quick story. I was looking to buy the uh, the cordless ratchet, um, and the, a sale came up where it was included in a kit: um, a drill, impact driver, flashlight, and this guy. And I remember getting out of, out of the bag, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, "What the hell am I ever going to use this for?" Well. 
This thing has actually been incredibly useful. I've used this more times than I can count. Um, and especially in an instance like tonight, put the long blade on it, getting into areas that you just can't normally get to. Um, and I was able to get to the studs um, that are just completely, the, you couldn't even get a socket uh, pounded, uh, couldn't even get a turbo socket um, pounded onto the remnants of the nuts on the flanges. Um, so I was able to cut the studs, left enough material, I'll hopefully be able to shock them out of the, the manifolds. Um, but yeah, absolutely just a phenomenal tool. Um, definitely, definitely recommend. Um, next step is to check the manifolds over, see if there's any cracks, anything um, catastrophic that's going to prevent me from reusing them. Um, and then um, getting the studs out of the head and the technique that I'm probably going to end up doing um, with that had pretty good success with this basically clean the, the stud material up get a nut that fits um, rough it's slightly you know basically get one of these drill them out so it slides over um, and weld it uh, just throw some MIG wire in there um, and walk them out the heat from the from the welding process actually um, helps break them free so that's the plan of attack it's kind of late <laughs> I'm gonna call it a night for now. Gonna go, gonna go get cleaned up, uh, grab some sleep, and um, yeah, then we'll clean these up and uh, and get rolling on it tomorrow. Oh, oh. 
Last shot. Let's do this. Ready? Come on. You got this. <coughs> no. No, 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 no. <sighs> so long, soldier. Never down. Alright, we got this explorer, right? One, two, Three. Oh hell yeah. That's it. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, 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 swimming. Whew. Finally. There's always one. There's always one. Uh, but hey, it's out. Uh, we don't pull the engine out of the uh, cylinder head, so that's that's good there. We have to clean these up uh, tomorrow, uh, blast them down, make sure the mating surfaces are good. I have to clean the mating surfaces on the cylinder heads as well and chase out the threads for the uh, new studs and nuts that we have coming. Uh, so those are all nice and clean and we've got new gaskets coming as well there. So uh, I'm going to call it a night for now though. I will see you guys tomorrow. Adios.